people ask, well, what if I use the seed treatment insecticide? Will that seed treatment insecticide protect that plant against soybean aphids? And the answer is that seed treatment insecticides have some activity on soybean aphids, but only early in the season. So about for the first 40 days or so would be the maximum length of time that you'd expect those seed treatment insecticides to help with soybean aphid. So it's possible that in in, in fields where you get early season aphid pressure, that the seed treatments might be somewhat helpful. But uh, beyond that, uh, they really are not helpful. They do not control aphids later in the season and really aren't a good practice just for controlling soybean aphids. Another thing that growers will often ask is, does it make sense to put an insecticide in with a herbicide treatment when you're putting on that, that last application of herbicides? And the answer is that if you don't have economic thresholds of aphids, that that's really not a very good idea for a number of reasons. One is that you're wasting money. You're applying a product that you, you really, you have to pay for that may not give you any return at all if you don't have soybean aphid populations. Also, it can make the situation work by controlling your natural enemies, and that can cause soybean aphid populations to explode even more rapidly. Uh, you can also see times when you, have, you apply a, an insecticide early and then you end up having soybean aphid pressure later and you end up with two applications instead of one because aphids can come in and reinfest even after you put on an insecticide, seed, uh, insecticide treatment, a foliar insecticide treatment. There are many foliar insecticides that are very good in controlling soybean aphid, uh, but none of them work for season, potentially season long. And so after the reentry interval has passed on that insecticide, in about a week or 10 days, you wanna start scouting again for soybean aphids to see if those populations happen to be building up again. The insurance treatments also, uh, the ones you put on with your herbicide or if you don't have economic threshold populations, also put more selection pressure on the soybean aphid population. And the more of those kinds of treatments that we have, the more likely we are to see resistance development to those particular insecticides in the aphid population. Also, a lot of times the kind of spray volumes and the equipment that you'd use to put on a herbicide are not all that suitable for an insecticide. And so there are just a lot of reasons why putting an insurance treatment on or a, a, an insecticide treatment when you don't have uh, an economic threshold population of aphids is really not a very good idea. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.